So that's going to be really, really basic and simple stuff because I'm just getting into ES, uh, ES6. And, um, so basically, why we should bother using the um, ES 2015 because that's the, um, the standard of naming it. Um, well, because we can use higher quality code, we can code less, so there is not, not that much mess and it's way more readable and easier for to understand. Um, it's currently the best version of JavaScript available. 2006 is coming. Um, and it's pretty simple to add in terms of with Meteor. You only just have to install a package, um, ECMAScript. Um, with the new apps, it's uh, installed by default, but it's optional. You don't have to use it. Um, but some of us can just think about all the way. I don't know which features are going to be supported, what can I actually use, what, what um, can go uh, wrong while trying <coughs> to use the ES uh, 2015. Um, and kind of choosing this is a pain. But um, Meteor takes care of that for us, and which is pretty cool and we're really grateful for it. Um, how it does is it basically uses Babel uh, to transpile the code and also packages uh, polyfills that um, helps to work certain features on the older browser JS engines, um, even on IE8. Um, so what's more? Um, you don't have to use any special file extensions. You, it separates uh, your ES 2015 code from the regular uh, ES5 code. So it does everything for you and it's fully backward compatible. Um, so yeah, you basically can start adding new features bit by bit. Um, what is not supported yet is, are the module syntax. Um, and as well, what have changed is that uh, package and let now are reserved keywords. And also, if you have any pre 1.2 version Meteor, the new packages will not work. Um, so, new packages um, ECMAScript, uh, the promise polyfill that helps uh, with the callbacks. Um, also, ECMAScript collection that adds the polyfills for map and set and ES5 shim um, that fixes the small bugs in all the internet, oh sorry, all major uh, JS engines, not just IE. Um, so there's lots of features in new script. Uh, some of them are more or less complicated, at least for me, um, but um, to just show like basic examples is using the constant let instead of uh, var uh, to store values, values um, when you iterate through the um, arrays. And also um, what is very cool that you use them in the, um, you keep them within the function so they're not accessible outside. Uh, what else? Template string, that's, that's quite fun, um, at least for me, um, which takes the pain out of, it's just easier to, to write, basically. Um, the object shorthand notation, um, you can just write first name, last name, makes life easier and quicker. Um, and then you can also return values without breaking the code which is also better, um, and you make less bugs. Um, so useful links, uh, I think it's worth to have a look at the upgrade guide, um, the features. I will also upload the presentation on the GitHub later. Um, and more of them, pretty good books, started reading them very nicely explained how things have changed and what are the better ways to uh, to use ECMA, ECMAScript um, 2015. Um, if you're using Lin, uh, if you're using Atom and you want to use Lint, you have uh, packages for it. And also pretty interesting uh, articles how to start 
uh, getting on using Meteor, uh, using ES6, ES6 and Meteor. Um, and that's all for now. Hopefully I'll be able to do more examples and train more and give you more value next time as well. Thank you. Thank you.